Recently, I was asked about a function, whether it's in NX or in CATIA. I'm going to demonstrate here in CATIA, and I'll do the same in NX. How do you basically create one big surface from several small surfaces? And within CATIA, you can do a join with Federate, but you'll still see these seams. The person is asking for is specifically one surface without any seams and uh, base within a, a, a specified tolerance, something fairly tight. There's a tool, it's called concatenate. And what this does is you need to use NURBS surfaces. These have to be untrimmed NURBS surfaces. And you can only pick two surfaces at a time. You specify your allowable deviation. If I go to more, you can see um, max deviation information and I'll select apply. So this is going to give me information about the surface that it's going to create. I'm going to select OK. And what you'll notice is the original surface, two surfaces are gone, and this is now one single concatenated surfaces. Now there's no history here, so there's nothing I can do to modify that. So if I go back into concatenate, pick this surface, and hold the control key down, pick the next surface. You can see I'm deviating a bit here but it's well within my tolerance. And now I have, again, one surface. If I look at the control points of this surface, let's go to control points, segmentation, ISO curves. Now I'll turn that off. I'll just say that for now. So you can see here, I have a segment, internal segment, on that surface. So once again, I'll go to concatenate this, hit my apply. Now in this case you can see I'm deviating pretty far away. The reason why is, is because this is going to create an extremely complex surface. Now if I come in here and I try to turn down my tolerance and hit my apply, you'll see it's automatically going to shoot up and say well in order for me to get the surface to what you want I have to deviate this much. So there's not much I can do with that. Select my OK, and as you can see, I have one big surface. Again, if I analyze this, you'll notice that I have several seams, two and two, four by five. Um, and again, if I show the control points, at this time I'll just use my control point function. You can see those are my control points. Two segments, two segments, five by seven. And if I actually show Using this, you can see I have a segment across this way and I have a segment across this way. So that's just one method of taking surfaces and combining them into one big surface. It's called concatenate.